What is going on everybody? My name's Chris. Welcome to Bourbon Sane. We're back today and we are talking about another Old Forester product and one I am really excited about. Old Forester Single Barrel Bourbon. Now this is a Kentucky Straight Bourbon coming out of Old Forester Distillery. Old Forester is a subset of Brown Foreman. So Brown Foreman is the parent company. They own companies like Jack Daniels, Woodford Reserve, Old Forester, and Old Forester's got a whole bunch of expressions. Um, honestly, it's hard for me to find a bad Old Forester product, really, one that I don't like. They got the 100 proof, which is great. The whole Whiskey Row series is fantastic. Um, some of those get a little pricey, but man, the top ends, like the 1920 and the 1910, so good. We're talking about a single barrel. Now, this is actually a store pick from a local place around me, Riverside Liquors. Now, these single barrel bottles are really cool looking. They're black with the gold in the front. It's got where it's picked from right in the bottom of the bottle. It tells you the floor, warehouse O, and proof. On the back, they just kind of talk about Old Forester. Talk about during Prohibition, you know, they were one of the first to, to put out products during Prohibition. So, pretty cool, awesome company Old Forester is, but I'm excited about the whiskey. So, let's go right into this one. Pretty nice pop on that. Now, as I mentioned, this is no age statement comes in at uh, 90 proof and again it is a store pick so it's single barrel all these old foresters um, at least the old forester single barrels are going to be the 90 proof and all are going to taste a little different because they are single barrel so looking at the color first medium color in my light it's a nice medium caramel color not too many legs sticking to the glass on this again it is 90 proof so it's not super high proof where we're gonna be seeing a whole lot of legs probably, but let's go right into the nose. Mm. Immediately, this has the Brown Foreman flavor profile. So, I mean, it's got what almost I describe as like a banana note on it. A chocolate banana, like a banana's foster almost. Actually, a nice amount of nuttiness is coming through on this for me which is kind of uncommon of Old Forester. I don't typically get a lot of nuttiness, but there's definitely a nut note present and um, definitely fresh fruit notes, like a green apple. Maybe some peaches and uh, apricots even. Lots of, lots of caramel on this too. I mean, a lot of caramel, little bit of vanilla, but not a huge amount of vanilla like I would expect. It's more those fruits, you know. Um, I've had probably three or four single barrels now, and this one to me is very fruit forward. So I've had some that seem to tend to be more a lot of baking spices, that brown sugar, cinnamon, um, and a lot that are fruit forward. I bet you know some of the other ones were fruit forward. This to me is more that fruit forward, at least on the nose. Let's give it a sip. Cheers. Mmm. There's the spice though. So only 90 proof as I mentioned, but the back of the palate is giving me a rush of those baking spices. The sweetness is definitely present on the front of the palate. I mean that caramel, even like some brown sugar, but the baking spices, I mean I'm getting clove, almost like a little licorice note even. Let me give it another sip. It really tastes like a dessert in a glass. It really does. The brown sugar banana, like a creme brulee with that brown sugar. I mean, the burnt caramel, really good. Um, really good. As I mentioned, the back of the palate is giving awesome baking spice kick. I'd say the cinnamon is really lingering. Finish is still going, actually. Um, overall, this bottle, this is a good bottle. Let me do one more sip, and we'll talk about it a little more. Man, that is good. Virtually zero alcohol burn. Just an awesome, well-rounded pour. And honestly, that's kind of been my experience with almost all single barrels I've had. There's not really a bad product among the single barrels that I've found yet. Not one that's been off-putting, off the Old Forester profile in general. Most of them are just excellent. This bottle does retail at right around $40 to $45, depending on where you get it. Um, depending on what part of the country you live in, mine was $44.99. And I think all day, 
this is this is worth that money for me. 90 proof, great distillery. The the fact that it's a store pick, a single barrel, I mean to me, I'm starting to trend more that way where I seek out store picks. I just did a live stream actually where I talked about nine, ten different store picks that are available on the market right now, and it's just it's great for us bourbon enthusiasts. It's absolutely wonderful that we have all these options and all the varieties of single barrels and even small batches out there now. Store picks are a wonderful thing. I mean, if you can't find a BTAC, um, anything like a Peppy Van Winkle, I mean, it's it's hunting season right now. It is bourbon hunting season. If you can't find one, look for a store pick instead because you can find a lot of extremely interesting picks and things like Old Forester, 1792 picks, you know, Russell's Reserve picks. I mean, the list goes on and on. There's so many good bourbons out there. There's no need to spend an arm and a leg to find something you're going to like. If you hear about a store that gets an Old Forester single barrel, I definitely would recommend you pick it up. You are not going to be disappointed in this glass. It, it's really a good bourbon for anyone. Anyone who likes bourbon, Old Forester single barrels are a great option. Thank you all so much for watching this review today. If you like these types of videos, please do hit that like button and that subscribe button. Just wanted to say a quick thank you so much to my patrons who support the channel. It's because of you guys I'm able to get bottles like this, honestly. Um, pick up store picks, review them for you, talk about the different distilleries in general. I'm in the middle of my distillery series right now. I actually did visit Old Forester while I was there, so I'm going to be doing a review of the Old Forester Distillery located on Whiskey Row in downtown Louisville. So keep an eye out for that, it's going to be coming soon. One more thing is we did finally get batch two of our challenge coins. This is round two, the five finger pour challenge coins. These are available now, uh, $14 shipped right to you. If you're interested, please do send me an email or uh, my PayPal is right there on the screen for you, bourbonsane at gmail.com. I appreciate each and every one of you hanging out today. Thank you for watching this review with me. Stay insane, everyone.